so today I want to show you how to change your login sound so uh, yeah let's just begin okay so if you have like uh, a file you want to use uh, let's say uh, system activated system activated I want to use that but the problem is that's a WAV file and you can only use OGG file so I want to convert it to an OGG file and I do that by using this sound converter um, you just download that in the Ubuntu software center I'm not gonna show you how you do it um, but basically just convert it to an OGG file so that's okay and right here we have the OGG file Okay, I will right click and say copy. Okay. Now we'll need to go to uh, a terminal and type in sudo nautilus because we need to have root permissions to uh, do this. Okay. There we go. We go. To, we'll go to file system and we'll go to user we'll go to share and right here we'll go to sound sounds okay. we'll go to Ubuntu stereo and right here you will paste the file the OGG file and I've already done that and it's right here voice system activated okay it's called voice system activated so um, when that's done you're not done yet just one thing more you'll go to system preferences and start up applications you will go down to let me see where is it where is it right here gnome login sound you'll press on edit you'll have this command saying user bin canberra gtk play id and right here it says desktop login now you need to change that desktop login to this one right here we have here voice system activated you don't need to um, to uh, uh, type in the dot ogg just voice system activated so we'll do this just delete the desktop login because the desktop login that's this one yeah the normal one. Oh wait what was it called voice system activated cool so we'll type in voice system who system activated voice system activated press save and close and basically you're done but uh, uh, some people may have problems and that's because uh, when you log out and let you log in again uh, there's not any sound that is because you'll need to right click on this and go to properties You'll go to permissions, and you'll uh, the owner will be root, and the access will be read and write, read and write. Okay, group will be root, access will be read only, and access down here will be read only. So you need if you have any problems, you need to change that. Okay, so that's it. Now you have it. You can log in. Oh, log out and log in and uh, try to listen to your beautiful sound music thing okay so uh, that's it for today um, so yeah have a nice day and I'll catch you guys later bye